welcome to the Pretty Little Liars Original Sin Bloody Red Carpet event. I am Lucy Hale, and thank you. I'm nervous right now. I truly was like, oh, a little intimate screening. No, there's a lot of you. Um, as you may know, I starred on Pretty Little Liars for seven seasons as Aria. Thank you. I'm gonna go off, off book a little bit because this is actually really crazy for me. I haven't been back to Warner Brothers since we were done filming like five years ago. So like to have this full circle moment with these girls is really extraordinary. My life completely, not, I'm not gonna talk a lot about myself, I promise, but like my life, <laughs> I like start a monologue about my career, but I just wanna take a second to, to extend my gratitude to all of you and to the people who created Pretty Little Liars because I wouldn't be here without it. Seriously changed my life. Um, but I'm so thrilled to be here with you today to celebrate the new generation of Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin um, takes viewers to Millwood, a blue collar town still healing from tragic events that took place 20 years ago. An unknown assailant has begun tormenting a group of teen girls, a new generation of little liars to make them pay for their parents' secret sins as well as their own. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin streams July 28th only on HBO Max. I still have trouble saying Pretty Little Liars. I still like slur it together. It's easier to say PLL, so I'm going to say that. Now that we've all had the chance to see the first episode, I am so excited to moderate this panel discussion and to give you all more insight into this new show directly from the Liars themselves. I see Bailey back there. Before we get started, reminder that if you're posting about today's event, make sure to use hashtag bloody red carpet event. Wow. And tag Pretty Little Liars, PLL. Uh, please welcome the new liars of Pretty Little Liars, Original Sin. We have Bailey Madison as Imogen. Wee! Little angel. There she is, a vision in red. I'm just going to really improv it up here. Yeah, please. Oh You're, you made me cry back then. Amazing. Hi, we guys. Have, oh. um, Chandler Kinney as Tabby. <laughs> Another vision. Hi. Hello. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed this up so we can talk more. Okay, Zaria is Farron. Hi. We have Malia Piles as Minnie, aka Mouse. Woo! And there she is. There she wow. Is. Oh and then God. we have. Last but not least, Maya Rafiko as Noah. Woo! Oh my God, let's do this thing. Uh, hi. Oh. Oh my God. I forgot what? I was Mike. This is like, cute. Like, ASMR okay. over wow. here, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I feel like Ross and friends in my leather pants, and I'm like, hoping they don't rip. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. I. Just a little quick backstory. I've known Bailey since she was like eight, uh -huh. so this is crazy. Yeah. And I just met the rest of you tonight. You guys, I mean, what did you guys think? I'm losing my mind over it. <laughs> it's really, it's so great to be here. Um, like I just said, we all just watched the first episode. So to get things started, just talk a little bit about what it was like entering the world of Pretty Little Liars. What was your first day like? Oh. Are we, well, Not everyone at once. <laughs> Bailey, Maya, take it away. Maya actually had our official first day of filming. What was your first scene? Oh, the first scene <laughs> we shot was the scene with Sheriff Beasley where I walk up and, and see something. Yeah. Oh. Happening in the car. Oh, oh you see something. In the car. We said, let's start subtle. Yeah. 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 And that was, uh, the, first, that was you know. the first scene of the whole show that we ever shot. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's starting the bar things real high. Strong. <laughs> Amazing. All right, this is a question for Bailey and Chandler. So, from <laughs> so where we left off after the first episode, your characters had just come together for the very first time, mm -hmm. and as the series continues, obviously, I love the friendship between you two. It's very sweet. Yeah. Um, and as the series continues, obviously, you get closer. So let's watch a short clip that showcases this friendship. <laughs> oh yay! Bye. Look who's here! Your glam squad has arrived. <laughs> Something about 
Okay, okay. Favorite dance movie of all time. Ooh. Mine's Suspiria. Shocking no one. Center stage, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Dirty Dancing, of course. Uh, the Step Up franchise. West Side Story. <laughs> okay, truth time. <laughs> I love it, too. When I was a little girl, I really, really wanted to be Marie. Anita? Fuck that! I wanted to be Maria! <laughs> so I could jump Tony's bones. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> So Bailey and Chandler, from the get-go, it seems like Imogen and Tabby become very close. What are fans going to love about this new friendship and the new liars? Oh, no. uh, well, it was really. I remember when we sat down, we had a conversation. We had about three weeks of mm -hmm. of rehearsals before we started filming, um, and and I remember Chandler and I were kind of like, so like, what's our love story this season? Like, give us <laughs> <Yeah>. something and. <laughs> Um, and they kind of teased us, and they were like, you know, Tabby and Imogen might have, like, their, you know, their friendship might be something really special. Oh, oh I thought. Uh, right. I thought <laughs> like, it's going to break into news. more. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did get a ship name, though. We, yeah. we were prepared just in case. What is it? Um, Tabagin. 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 Mm -hmm. so like, it's easy. Tabagin like rolls, right rolls right off the tongue. It rolls right off the tongue. Love that. Um, nice ring to it. But I, I'm really excited for the season to progress. I think these two young women find each other at a time when they really need it most. Um, and I think, you know, they help each other come out of the silence a bit. Um, and I think it's a really beautiful story to tell. And I mean, we all, like, these are my ladies, so. <laughs> yeah, you guys spent, how, like, ten, mo nine months filming. Yeah, it was about, it was about wow. nine months. Yeah. In, uh, <laughs> it was an emergency. Not that I'm counting, but it was, <laughs> we were um, counting at all. nine um, months <laughs> in upstate New York. Uh, it, in what felt like the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, it, it was. Whenever you were filming, it was like quite literally in the middle. It kind of yeah. 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 storms. But I didn't know that happened. Yeah, yeah. Ice it does. Um, yeah. We like, we stayed in cabins. Next to each other. Yeah. So yeah. We yeah. can knock on the door and be like, "Hey, can I get an ice pick?" Or but yeah, that's what made it really beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, like you talk about the friendship, and that's what everybody loves so much about Pretty Little Liars. You know, at the core, there's this female friendship that's so strong and it's unbreakable, really. And um, it's just really cool because, you know, you meet them, they don't really, they're not that close, they know each other, but, um, you know, very, very quickly they're thrown together. Um, and that's kind of what that our happened. story was yeah, for us, absolutely. you know, it was totally a, a life imitates art, art imitates life situation because we were thrown into this together and we had to lean on each other and, and that's exactly what we did. Yeah. So. Yeah. Gosh, I was so intimidated that you guys welcomed me so quickly. You, you were know? so it cute. Like, <laughs> it was weird how it, it, it happened in fandom. I also I just hugged y'all without I asking. Really was like, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember running up the hill and racing to see you guys. I was like, hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. It's just reminding me of like, you guys are in for a very fun ride. It's very exciting. Um, from the first ep I just got chills. Like, Aww. you're so cute. I can't stand it. OK. <laughs> from this first episode, we got a clear look at how Original Sin really leans into the horror and slasher genre. I love that the show took this angle. Mm -hmm. I think it's very cool. Let's take a look at one of these moments.
That's a hard pass. That's a <laughs> no, no. Do you want to know? I actually loved the rap. She did. She did. She you guys. She did. I worked with oh, I'm yelling. I'm so excited. Too, I, got excited. I worked with the rat, too. They're really They're like ratatouille. Clean. They're clean. And it's like Remy. Yeah. I yeah. agree. So I was petrified. The poor rat didn't get to work that day. Yeah. We had to bring <laughs> him in a couple weeks later. Did they have a handler? He had an amazing handler. handler. Okay. And then oh, this guy was crawling on my Smart. shoulders. He put peanut butter on me. Love Did they that. put peanut butter on you to no, get the rat to come to you? No, he just came to me. She's a rat whisperer. She's a, she's a natural. The rat whisperer. The rat really. whisperer, yeah. But what was it like shooting these scary scenes? Because as you know, you're, you're terrified, you're scared, but there's like 50 crew members, 50 plus crew members. How do you like keep that energy alive? Like what was it like doing these scary moments? I'm a big lover of horror and, mm -hmm. and slasher and like that entire genre. I especially love creating it. Like I'm a scaredy cat watching it, but I love making it. Um, and so the show was just so exciting because I was, I was hopeful that they were going to really dive into it, but, um, you would be reading the scenes and I'd be like, oh, let's go, let's go, yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Um, but we had the most incredible crew. I remember there was one day specifically I was doing a scene, um, and I just kept having crew members come in because we were family by that point. And they yeah. were like, Hi, Bailey. I was like, hi. Yeah. Are you okay? I was like, I'm all good, guys. I promise. But oh they were God. like really scared. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We loved it. Yeah. So, Original Sin also dives deeper into the various tropes of the horror genre and even twists twists it on its head by including a uniquely female perspective, which is very cool. As an aspiring director, Chandler's character, Tabby, showcases how the female gaze can be interpreted in film and even features Farron in one of her school projects. <laughs> Love Farron. Let's check out Tabby in action. How's that? Good, but we're gonna go again. And this time, what I'm looking for is your intention. I wanna see it in your eyes. Hitchcock was all about the eyeballs. My intention being, you had dinner with Norman. You're attracted to him, aroused by him. So in true slasher fashion, you're gonna penetrate him. With your knife. You're gonna stab him. Got it. All right, back to one. And rolling. And action. Chills. Now, you can relax and we're gonna move on to Greg's coverage. What am I supposed to be doing? Just shower? For context, you just had dinner with Marion. She gave you wine, but didn't have any herself. Maybe she even slipped something into your drink. You're vulnerable. A damsel in distress. Yeah, right. A damsel? And then, Greg, while you were just showering, we are going to be breaking the last taboo. What's the last taboo? Oh, it's nothing bad. We're just going to show a hot male body, namely yours, violated by a female phallus. Ferens. I'm gonna need, like, five. Five, and we'll go. I haven't seen that. Mm -mm. Sorry, you look amazing. Thank That's you. Amazing. You know, that, that wig was um, something I, I didn't ever think I'd pull off. But thank you. I, I really appreciate the you owned it. Wow. Thank so Chandler you. and Zaria, knowing you all worked with a predominantly female cast and female directors and a female director of photography, how did this lens impact the filming of the horror leaning scenes? Uh, it was it was really special to have that. I don't think I'd ever worked with so many women behind the scenes, and um, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right? Uh, like was mentioned earlier, nine out of our ten episodes this season uh, were directed by women, which right. is wow. huge. And um, to yeah. have a, a woman DP that was amazing. First AD and, and first, first AD, AD yeah. and so. Um, and so to have that, especially with a show that looks so intimately. Um, at trauma and, um, you know, specifically as, as women to step into those spaces um, where you're dealing with um, mental health and you're dealing with tragedy and it, it's very personal. And, um, and so we felt really safe, I think, and, and felt really supported in going there. And, um, and, you know, for Tavi, she is 
uh, quite the lover of film, and she kind of uses it over the course of the season as a coping mechanism to kind of process what she's been going through. And I believe that this project is in so many ways a microcosm of what Pretty Little Liars Original Sin is and does. Um, you have these multi-dimensional girls and, and young women, and, um, and you're not looking at them, you're looking with them. And um, I think that's really special because you're able to identify and, and empathize with these characters. So it's really special. I mean, that's the best answer I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yes. I'm like, did someone get that on tape? I hope so. Um, do you have anything? To, would you I'm like to sorry, say What would you like sorry, to say? Sorry, <laughs> I'm really passionate about this. OK, I'm sorry. No, no, I was saying how beautiful it is. I was saying how beautiful it is. Um, yes, talk a really good No, I was saying how beautiful it is. I love it. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's another um, reason why we have to like give it up for Roberto and Lindsay up there. It's, yeah. It was so, yeah, like literally. Um, it was so intentional to give us that space and to give us characters that had mothers and backstories. And, you know, we didn't have fluff scenes. We had scenes that we wanted to see, you know, and I like to see, and, and you know, my, my little sister's here. So I, I get emotional thinking that she and her friends will, will get to see that. And it's something that I, I really, I don't take for granted for being on this cast, that I'm on such a diverse cast. We're all here, we're all part of this community of liars now. <laughs> and um, to be able to, you know, really be seen and to learn from our female leaders on set, off set, um, I just, I really could not be more blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Love that. <laughs> so in addition to the thrills and the mystery, half of the fun of Pretty Little Liars is exploring <laughs> high school life and <laughs> discover, I'm just, sorry, uh, and discovering those feelings of young love and where better to find romance than at a school dance. Aww. So, you know, <laughs> here's a short clip of Millwood High's Spirit Week Dance. Well, if it isn't the one true swan, I was hoping you'd show. Or are you needing someone here? I'm searching for someone. Karen, if you can believe it. Uh, I saw her when I came in, but you're looking for her, why? Good question. <laughs> well, should I let you get back to your hunt, or should the prince ask go deal to dance? The latter. Looking for someone? Uh, <laughs> Mouse, are you okay? You kind of seem on edge. Maybe a little. Crowds make me nervous. Social anxiety. I'm not okay. That is so cute. Yeah. I'm blushing. Uh, so Malia, Maya, and Zaria, as I can say from experience of playing Aria with young love comes a lot of drama, especially if you date your teacher. Um, so, so far, so far, we've seen that Noah and Sean are both athletes, Farron and Henry bond over dance, and Mouse and Ash have a meet cute in the computer lab. So talk to us about how your characters connect to their love interests over some of these similar passions and experiences. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm still like blushing over that. Or like, like, give us the juicy <laughs> details. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I think I think so much of Mouse's story is about her kind of being very comfortable in her solitude and and almost unwilling to join her peers and and make honest friendships. And I think it's that one person seeing her and validating her and 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 taking her out of the crowd and being like, hey, you know what? I think you're cool, and I think your voice is worthwhile. Um, that's what causes her to then like accept friendships into her life mm -hmm. and, and allows her to like take the power back in her life. So, I mean, not only was it just such a wonderful blessing meeting someone like Jordan, who played Ash. Yeah. Yeah. All a shout out. I don't know where Jordan is, but yay. There he is. Somewhere here. <laughs> cute, um, cute. Yay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. How but, good. Yeah, it was. It, <laughs> No, it, it was just, um, it was it was such a safe and, and wonderful experience because, of course, it was one of my first times having to capture a romance on screen. 
Um, and just to feel so supported and, and such a genuine friendship from him made the job so much easier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. adorable. How about you? <laughs> um, I think, well, I think I can speak for the three of us that so much of, of the, the fun and, and how much we enjoyed playing these relationships were because of our incredible partners. Where are Alex the dudes? Yeah, where are the guys? Up, guys. Ben, Alex, Stand up, guys. Jordan. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alex. Ben, where is everyone? Right, Where's I mean, Ben? There you go. huge challenge as well to play an established relationship from the get-go. I think mm -hmm. that in itself brought a very fun challenge, but I'm really grateful for Alex for having been such a great partner. We had the best time shooting, and honestly, Roberto and Lindsay wrote such a beautiful relationship with them. They bonded mm -hmm. and found home in each other, and I think getting to to explore the, the ins and outs of that was, was really fun. Big dog. Yeah. <laughs> Big dog. <laughs> okay, I have a really important. Oh, oh no, okay. please, no. no. It's your turn. It's no. your turn. Sorry. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. No. Um, I would <laughs> just echo what these lovely ladies said. And also, you know, um, a big part of Theron's story is this idea of success and what it looks like and it, what it feels like being a black ballerina. And um, I'm echoing Maya here, but yeah, I had such an incredible cast member to lean on and to find Farron's voice. There's no one like Henry in, in the series for Farron. She doesn't open up easily. And to um, be able to have someone on set that'd be like, yeah, 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 that's a good move. Point that toe um, was, was really, really great because it, it allowed me to be free and, and trust in myself as, as my character. Wait, were you, do you have dance experience or did you learn for the show. I have dance experience, but okay. I like I am such in awe of dancers in general. I think that they are such incredible mixes of athletes and artists and I really am I'm like so grateful for that community because I I found a home in it when I was younger, but I moved around so much that I I never really um got to experience it in the way that Farron does. So um, yeah, I was, I was really excited to like put on point shoes and, you know, dance. <laughs> it was believable. <laughs> Thank okay, you. I have a really important question. Uh -huh. Did you all watch the original no. Pretty <laughs> Little Liars? <laughs> all right, I'm out then. <laughs> Bye. Um, if so, question. who is your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not a question. No, but if so, which I'm assuming maybe you did your research um, <laughs> and watch the show. Um, how Did that impact how you approach this show or? One, we love you. I <laughs> love you Two, we too. love the show. <laughs> um, three, what about, oh, we didn't, I think, here's the thing, we can't touch what you guys did. We, we you know what I mean? Oh, that show well. is so special. It means so much to all of us as young women up here in different ways. Um, now, did I watch the show on weekends because I'm a psycho and I just wanted to like hang out with you? <laughs> <laughs> I was in upstate New York and you weren't? <laughs> then yes. Um, but I think we were excited to dive into this world that they created, which is just an entirely different universe of a thrill ride. Right. Um, darker and grittier. And mm -hmm. so I think we were excited to bring ourselves to, to the table as best as we could. Yeah. I feel like Bailey and I were like yeah, we were bonded over how big of fans of the original we were, oh God, and all of the girls we we so truly <laughs> fangirled over it, and it's such a pinch me moment to be here because, I mean, I for my birthday I asked to go to the Rosewood sets. This is the second time you I've ever been at the lot. That story, that's so, it's my second the, time ever here. <laughs> yeah, my first time was part. just to take photos there. So. Did you see the golf cart? We cried. Yeah, I cried. I've been crying. I cried. I cried. I've been crying too much, but it's it's very surreal. So it's insane to get to bring our little piece of ourselves and our reality to this such such an iconic universe. It's pretty no, crazy. I, you guys, it's so amazing. I think that there's like a familiarity that people will love from the original, but it's a fresh new take on it. And you guys just, it's really amazing. Thank you. Yeah. But we're not done. Oh, but there's more. But there's I think more. we're going <laughs> to. Four more hours of this, guys. So <laughs> buckle, buckle up, up, babes. All right, no, I think we're going to do like a fun, um, rapid fire. Oh, we're really good at Should rapid fire. Should we do fire? that? By that, she means we're not. Let's go. Okay, this is from Original Sin OOC from Twitter. Ask, oh. just, this is your favorite question. It's my favorite. Describe each of your characters in 
three words. Mm. I used to hate this question. Yeah. No, not original sin <laughs> OOC. I don't hate the question. No, it's just hard. It's, it's, it's a, hard it's a great question. How great. do you describe a character that you love so much that is like so multi-layered in three words? It's well, really multi-layered is one word. Multi-layered. Oh, multi-layered. Uh, there we go. I like pregnant. To, I like, oh, that's what I was going to say. Start off with pregnant. pregnant. I like yeah. to go pregnant, pregnant, and pregnant. Really pregnant. Um, she's super pregnant. No, pregnant. I would say <laughs> driven. <laughs> Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? In the show? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Um, and I'd say, like, I'd say, I'd say loyal, very loyal. Okay. Ooh, okay. Driven. <laughs> yeah. <Pregnant>. Cinephile. <laughs> Not pregnant. Not pregnant. Um, hashtag bestie goals. That's um, that's a cheat. Yeah, that's but, a, but a hashtag. It. When you use a hashtag, you know yeah. it's one no word. Spaces. It counts. And no when you spaces. Say it's a cheat. It's no longer. A it's cheat. not a cheat. Yeah. It's not a cheat. That's how it works. Uh, so also, <laughs> <I'm excited. laughs> Farron is ambitious. She's unstoppable, and she says what she's thinking. So I guess that word is cutthroat. I don't yeah. know. What's a one-word word for yeah. that? Oh, yeah, cutthroat. That? Yeah, it's a compound yeah. word. Yeah, it works. Yeah, thank you. It's got my back. <laughs> What about oh you gosh, today? what are my words going to be? Um, I would say uh, she has a lot of heart, mm -hmm. is a word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what are words? <laughs> uh, quiet, at first at least, and techie. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Um, <laughs> Come on, I'll Maya. say <laughs> athletic, yeah. um, tough, and yeah. vulnerable. Oh, killed it. <laughs> Love it. That was great. Great answers, guys. It's not a, it really is not an easy question to answer. Yeah, that was not rapid fire at all. Um, <laughs> that was slow. That was it's rapid all right. fire for us. But we're trucking sure. along. Okay, Victoria <laughs> Pena from Facebook asks, where were you? Oh, this is a great question. Oh, I love that. Where were you? Maybe we'll just like do this one by one, or should everyone answer? I don't know. We're just going to, everyone can answer. Yeah. Okay. okay, where like, were you when you found out you had been cast? Yeah. I just saw you yeah. sobbed? Yeah. Where, where did you sob? Where, where were you? I was with my mom, and I Aww. sobbed, and there's video evidence, and it's very embarrassing. It's really Aww. cute. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, oh, we're going this way. I was taking a nap. I was really nervous, guys. I was in the middle of a move. I woke up to, like, 10 calls, and my manager, Jessie, there, she started the call with, unfortunately. Oh, and then wow. <laughs> finished it with, you're going to New York. You're a pretty little liar. And it was, I felt like I was dreaming because oh. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was a really, it was a special time, and I was with my cousin, Lucas, over there, and we ate Thai food on our unfurnished living room floor <laughs> and celebrated. Oh, that's and it was so nice. Sweet. Yeah. That's really sweet. Um, I met my acting coach, Gary Marks, about three years ago, and he looked at me and he said, I really believe in you and I want to coach you pro bono until you until you get something that you deserve, which does not happen often ever. And I was about four, like a year ago, almost exactly, minus four days, I was taping and I got a call from Azim. And he said, I'm going to patch in everyone else. And that's normally good news. Yeah. Um, so immediately, Gary heard that. And he starts crying. And that made me start crying. So it was just a lot of tears. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Malia, when you were saying your call um, with your team saying, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> gave me PTSD. Because the same thing happened to me. Shout out to uh, Emma and Jen. Why were the they audience. eating with unfortunately? Um, I don't know. I told them to never do that again. <laughs> um, I remember I got the call, and they were like, unfortunately, it's not going any further. Because you got the wrong. I was like, oh my I God. hate this moment. But um, <laughs> Wow. But, <laughs> I hate it. That's, I hate it. Yeah. Um, I was in Toronto. I was filming a movie. I remember we were literally in between setups, and I got the call. I was like, okay, let me run to this uh, empty dressing room. Um, had the whole, like, laughing, crying moment and shock and everything. Um, and then I went back out, finished the, the, the scene that we were shooting, and we were supposed to film outside that night, and it started raining. And so uh, the shoot got canceled, and then we... Played in the rain, played spike ball, great game if you haven't played. Um, <laughs> and I stayed up all night and watched SpongeBob. Solid. <laughs> Love that. Oh, it was really great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to spit this out quick. Watch oh, this. I'm you ready? For this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you. Here's the thing. You know, you, you were there with me for this whole process. Yeah, I was. This I actually poor, was. Yeah. beautiful, wonderful friend of mine um, had to go through about two weeks with me before I found out. <laughs> 
<laughs> she knows. Uh, before I found out if it was a yes, because I, I tested and then it fell on like a 4th of July weekend. And um, I did the really sane thing, which was not sleep at night and binge watch the original. So like it would really hurt um, <laughs> while I was waiting to know what was happening. Um, and it was my first day of filming of filming this movie in LA. And I like woke up, it was a Monday morning. And you know when you know, like you're gonna find out today, like your mm. gut just tells you. So I was like, I'm gonna know today. And I was in hair and makeup and I got a call from uh, Bo Swayze, who's here today. Um, and he he was like, hey, one second, I've got a David Rappaport. And David, who we David love, here? David should Woo! be here. Is David here? David! David! David, um, David Rappaport has been someone I have admired for so many years and we hadn't had a chance to work together yet and was just also by my side through the whole process. Um, but they told me and I just started sobbing and I was doing a really a dark tears, movie at the like, time yeah. and they were like you're about to die and I was like hey, but I'm alive inside <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little liar guys um, and then had like the best call with Roberto and Lindsay and I remember ferociously saving their numbers in the phone and it was like Lindsay PLO kiss 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 no. star star <laughs> Roberto knife 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 kiss 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 I was like PLL oh um very surreal and yeah just humbled oh it's really crazy I love it. And you were great, man. Calling you was really exciting. I mean, I like, I just knew it. <laughs> you were like, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. So are you similar to your character in real life? All uh, of you. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. I, I, I think that in ways I'm similar to Farron. Farron throws herself into her work, and I find that that's my safest space. So, um, in that way, I am. I, I think Theron has this amazing ability to just spit out anything she's saying or thinking in her brain. <laughs> and obviously, I'm just learning how to speak today. So, <laughs> um, no, but it's um, it's it was really a pleasure to be able to, you know, stick up for myself in that way as her, which is it was not the experience I had in high school. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, Karen, yeah, whatever you say. You want me to do your homework? Okay. <laughs> like, that was like me, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty similar to, uh, to Noah. I feel like I picked up things of her throughout the season. Yeah. I became more straightforward as the season progressed because I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I like this. And I feel like no Noah like swears quite a bit and I do that too. Yeah. 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 Art imitating life, life imitating life. Yeah. <laughs> what about yeah. the way she sits? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that too. Um, I can't believe I'm like this. Yeah. I've been seeing <laughs> What about you? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel like a lot of uh, qualities of Mouse, I feel such a kinship to. I mean, I think in high school especially, I felt kind of different and, and other. And, um, and there's a feeling of isolation sometimes, but also getting out of that through my friends, of course. And, and I don't know. I think Mouse, there's, there's such a beautiful little complexity about her and... Um, and so much of her is in me, and I think that was what made it easy to do. Thank you, David. You did a really good job. <laughs> also, your style. Is cool. Oh, gosh. That's I true. love knitwear. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, crochet. Yeah. Custom we all. Yeah, I'm not very good at typing, though, so I'm, I'm figuring that one out. <laughs> she's like, she's like, David. I mean, I, I would say I am similar to Tabby in, in a lot of ways. Um, you're introduced to her where she, in a place where she's very closed off, um, a bit of a closed book for sure, and, and distrustful of others. And um, I'm definitely not super open personally. <laughs> Bailey wants to say something yeah, about this. We, I crack here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I joke think, all the yeah, time. Yeah, I think it took like maybe halfway through the season, and I remember one day it was some like 5 a.m. call, and she's like, you know, I think I figured you out finally. And I was like, and you were oh, like, really? you did. And yeah. she was like, yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> um, but but that was after spending a lot of yeah. time together. And um, and so, yeah, Tabby's arc over the season is really one of, of friendship and learning to trust others. And um, I can see myself in her a lot and also in the way that she uses art to heal and process. And I think I do that through uh, acting. And so it's pretty special playing her. This was, I think, the most... I think that, that why I loved this role so much is I couldn't really find much of myself within her, except I understood her somehow. Um, 
I've never been pregnant before. <laughs> so that was, you know, that was really yeah. different. The stomach was different. Um, but then I think the reality too was, I think in terms of similarities, she loves her friend. She's very loyal. She sees the good in people. I'd like to think those are qualities of mine. Um, but you meet her at a time where there's so much tragedy. And, and thankfully, I haven't had to ever live through the tragedies that she has. And so um, it was a joy to try to live in that in that mindset of her right off the get go. And I remember I got home from filming after nine months and my sister looked at me and she was like, I get it now. And I was like, get what? She was like, you're like 80% back, but like you're not fully Bailey yet. And so I do feel like there's like a part of Imogen that is so deep within me now. Like, I love that girl. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I care about it. Nine her. months is a long time nine to months be. Is long. Like a and my dad and my hair blonde, you know. Yeah. That's hair, crazy. Hair changes, hair girl, changes everything. <laughs> I remember when I chopped my hair in the middle of Pretty Little Liars. They're yeah. like, well, we have to write it and do the show now. I didn't tell them I was doing it. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Okay. One last question. No, this is not about me. Okay. Um, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> All right. Because I attracted it from Twitter. Asked, who was oh. the funniest person on set? I or like a funny moment. Sharon Wheel. Sharon had zingers. Cheryl. She had the zing. Actually, is Sharon's Sharon Where's Sharon? Oh, Sharon's gone. She's, oh. she's right there. Oh, oh she's Sharon. Sharon. Are you here? Okay, yeah. well, Sharon Leal, who plays my lovely mother, <laughs> is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my entire life. God. Sometimes I just look at her and I'm like, Sharon, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> she's funny, so though. She's, like, she's she's iconic in, in every way and so talented, and every scene with her was like a masterclass. But she's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. That's my answer, but I don't know about y'all. <laughs> oh, no, it's brilliant. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. really funny, though. All, the moms, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the moms are pretty great. the moms together in a room. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, so it's oh, witnessing it's so the greatest and, like, it's just, it's, awesome. it's a yeah, present. Yeah, it's you can't have PLL without the moms. No, they're yeah. 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 Iconic. Thank you. Yeah. Elena's the best ever. Shout out to our moms. Shout out to our moms. We do. Oh, my God. Okay, well, this is so fun. I kind of took some liberties to like shake it up a bit and hope no one's <laughs> mad at me. Um, but you guys, just enjoy it. This is so exciting. You guys are amazing. I know everyone. Let's give a round of applause for these, these gals. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences. We are all so excited to celebrate this new chapter for Pretty Little Liars. And we will leave you with this exclusive look ahead at the rest of the season. Make sure you watch Pretty Little Liars Original Sin when it premieres July 28th on HBO Max. You guys, have a great rest of your night. There's a video that someone made on their phone of Karen, which if people saw it, would destroy her. Did you see a man in a mask? I've seen that dude. What if Karen didn't frame us? The text from A was a warning to keep our mouths shut. He's watching us. If we do what A asks, maybe it'll all be okay. Whatever happens, we're all in this together. What are you all hiding? Are you wanting to see something that isn't there? Why does no one want to talk about Angela Waters? I'm going to do everything in my power to open a criminal investigation against you five. What was she there for? Revenge. I need to find out how these things are connected. You need to move on, Imogen. Keep your mouth shut. What do you want? I hate you! One way or another, this is ending tonight.